Welcome to USACO New Season 2022. Um, this season is going to start from December to March. We have four tests. The first test is December 17 to 20. The second one is January 28th to 31st. Um, the third one is February 25th to 28th. And the last one is the US Open. It's March 25th to 28th. So the first three uh, tests have four hours. And the last one, US Open, you have actual hour of five hours. So um, let me uh, guide you uh, from beginning how to register, how to prepare um, in the next about 15, 20 minutes. So the first one is you need, if you're not registered yet, you need to register, do the registration on usaco.org, right? Make sure you have a valid username and password. Um, let me show you real quick. So this is the USACO website. You can see usaco.org. You need, if you don't have an account yet, you need to click here called register for new account. To come here, uh, you can see you need to uh, create a new valid username, put your valid email address, give your given name and last name and your high school name and the graduation year. If you are not yet, you can just put future, future year. For the country, you can always put the USA or China, um, you know, whatever, right? Then you submit. Please make sure you have a valid email address because they're going to verify uh, your, um, your account, right? So after you create it, a valid account, you can go back and log in, right? You can always go back to type your username, put your password and log in. So what happens on the testing date, uh, there, when you log in, you're going to see there's a link at the top to show you that you can start the testing. You click it, you can go through, uh, go into the site and start testing. Uh, as we mentioned, what are all going to be a test strategy? Because the test is going to be um, spent for four days, right? So you can start the test. The test is going to start um, at four hours. If you click start, the timer is going to kick, click, right? You cannot pause. So you have to finish it within four hours or five hours in US Open. So just make sure you have your best time, best four hours. You can complete focus to solve the problem. It's challenging. It's not easy. So um, do your best. All right. So for the overall test strategy, uh, it's to have two parts. One is if you're very comfortable, you you think you can uh, you can clear you can um, do two level of test in one uh, in one season, right? You, so you want to pass the bronze and the silver uh, in the same weekends or even gold the same weekends, you can do the first one as early as possible. Let's see on Friday, you do the bronze test. Let's see on Sunday or Monday, you do the silver test. So then you can pass bronze and silver at the same time, you know, in one weekend. If your bronze got full score, it's going to promote you automatically to silver so you can start a silver test on Sunday or Monday, or even a gold test. If you get silver or silver test, the full score, right? But for most of the students, I would like you to play conservatively, right? The testing strategy is do it late, right? If you only want to plan to do it in one test, let's see, it's bronze test. I would like you to do it on Sunday or Monday, right? Make sure you are before the deadline, but you have a comfortable time to prepare and adjust your uh, mood and skills and ready for the test. 
give four hours total on Sunday afternoon or night or even Monday will be great. Okay, uh, let's see the problem solving strategy. So when you see there's a problem, let's see, for example, when you see a problem, For example, let's see, uh, do you know my ABC? You usually uh, see this a problem here, right? So you can see there's a description of problems uh, and there's sample input and sample output. Uh, so when you log in, you're gonna see there's a button, you can submit your code. So the basic line of our problem solving, uh, as we always emphasize in our useful training courses, it's four steps. First, quickly make sure you and you read through all these uh, questions, right? The problems, descriptions. Make sure you fully understand it, right? And uh, including all the constraints, right? And the other thing, the second step will be you you try to solve the problem manually on piece of paper, right? Uh, trying to solve it, see how how will be solved can be solved manually right and the third part is from the manual uh, process please try to contract like extract the logic the logic behind it right as we discuss in our our courses you need to try to find the logic flow right how how to use uh, what type of data structure can be used what type of steps can be um, can be used etc Right. Then the next step is going to be mapped to the code, right? See, you can do the logic, then you can do the coding. The coding part is easy, right? If you're attending our uh, test courses, we have all kinds of uh, coding strategies, best practices, code ready for you. So you can organize it before the test and you can even copy paste some, uh, some code you already written, right? Before, uh, et cetera. Then, when the test is ready, make sure it's past the sample case, sample test case. When it's past sample test cases, and try to think more, a little bit more about other test cases might have, right? Then you can start submit, right? Submit to the website. Okay, now let me show you the sample uh, a problem, how to uh, using the sample problem in C++, Java or Python to do one of the problem quickly, right? So I already logged in. So assume I'm doing this um, 2020 December, do you know your ABC, the simple one, right? So assume you pass all these four steps, you already have your code ready, right? So see, we have our code, Let's see C++ code. I'm using C++ code. So this is a very simple code here. Very simple, simple code here. First, you do the IO stream and the algorithms. Make sure your standard uh, STD library is ready. Then you're going to read in, right? All the program structure have two, three parts. First is you read in all the input. Then your output to the console. In the middle is your logic. Right, so here you can see I design, I define a array that I'm using C in to read from the console, right? You, I have gonna have seven numbers. So I'm gonna read in into the array, into nums array, right? Then here I have all kinds of logic. This logic is different from, uh, from problem to problem. But again, follow the four steps I, I, I suggest before. Do it manually then uh, extract the logic and map to the code, right? So here, when you get the results in A and B and C, you can do a C out in C, in C++ and just output, right? So let's submit to the website. I choose C++, either 11 or 17, doesn't matter. Then you can do it. So when you submit your code, you just wait, right? 
it's start grading. You're going to see all this green port. If all green means everything passed, you got full score about of this problem. You already have three problems. For each problem, I expect you to do it uh, less than 60 minutes, right? You can choose anyone to start, but make sure you do the either one first. Make sure you get a full score first. All right. So similarly, we can do it in Java, right? If you're using Java, uh, we can do the same thing here, right? First, you import the util uh, packages because we use need to do a sort here, right? The secondly, again, has three portions. First, we use a scanner to read from the console, right? From the system in, reading the console. Here, I'm going to define an array and read in the input and parse convert it to integers into an array, right? So it's exactly the same, similar as the C++, right? But in the Java way. Then from line number eight, then this is the logic here, right? We sort it, we get our logic working, we got the results A and B and C. Then we're going to use the system out to print out to the screen, to the console, right? So this is the Java way are doing the similar problems. Again, I have uh, three portions. Input, get from the console, and do the logic, and output. All right, let's submit to the using Java to submit. Java, ABC, and submit. Is it going to greeting uh, in the Java way? Okay, all 10 tests passed. Sometimes it's gonna have a timeout or arrows. In that case, you need to go back to your code to try to fix it, as we discussed in our lessons. All right, <clears throat> there's, if you're using Python, it's, it's a similar code in Python, right? So, so still three portions. The first, you're going to uh, read in from the console, right? Python console is input. You read in and split it, uh, divide it to a list or array, right? Then you convert it, you get it sorted and convert it to the integer list in the nums, right? Then you have A and B at the first two. This is the logic, right? This is going to be the logic from two to, two to four is really the logic. But the first line is really into the input, apply your logic. Then number five, we're gonna to print to the console, right? So if you want to reuse the input and output, please refer to this, all right? So this is the Python uh, way of doing a similar problem here. See here, you can choose Python. You already choose three, Python three, you choose file and do ABC. You see, all 10 tests are passed, right? So this is a demonstration how you're going to, you're doing a code in different programming languages. You can use this uh, as a jump start, right? Just replace the logic part. Again, uh, so, Again, uh, we are useful coach, right? Uh, we are doing, we are, we specializing uh, for helping you to get useful pass, right? So this is our website, uh, useculcoach.com. You can go to the website. You can see uh, all the courses we we provide. You can register a new one, etc. I have free videos for you to review. Uh, you can do a search for our uh, applying courses. You see, we have a different summer camp, winter camp. So holiday camp is starting from December 20s and to 30s for 10 days. It's a daily camp. We also have a winter camp. Winter camp, we have two layouts. One layout is once a week, uh, one, one lesson a week for 10 weeks. Uh, or we have um, a five week lesson. So every week we have two lessons. So all the materials uh, is the same, but they have two different schedules for the winter camp. It's going to be very helpful uh, across uh, until the end of the season, right? You can see starting from December all the way to the March. 
So if you need to jumpstart, if you want to really uh, uh, try to get it, right, please spend some time on the training. On the training. It's going to help you to get promoted. Also, we have a website uh, at stemavi.com, which is our parent web companies. Uh, it also have similar <clears throat> information about uh, use code trainings. And, uh, and also they have other stuff, right? They have a lot of uh, descriptions, etc. We also have English and math classes if you want to choose. All right, uh, again, uh, we are one of the years ago uh, mentioned, right? We are So you can see we are mentioned by Yusuko. Semi Ivy offers online courses, right? We we have been working uh, to do the Yusuko training for a long time. We help a lot of students get promoted uh, to to gold and platinum, and went into the top uh, tech schools, STEM schools, and very successful in in their career as well. So please contact us if you need any uh, type of helps. Uh, we are here to help. Okay, again, uh, good luck in useful testing uh, for this season. I hope everyone a uh, good luck and uh, get promoted to the next level. Happy coding. Okay, good luck.